Greetings, we're back with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the main action figure that has been Peg Woman across the world. I think this action figure needs some sort of recognition for the most, most highly favored Peg Woman of a decade. Yes, Peg Woman of the decade. You've seen them. You've probably walked into Walmart, Target, you know what I'm saying? I would even say Walgreens and CVS. He's in there. You can't escape this man. Lonely Lando. The saga continues. So, I was in Target today, and, uh, you know, I was sitting there looking for some action figures, you know what I mean, for multiple lines because uh I'm trying to fill out my shelf. And it dawned on me that every time, now mind you, all the things were on clearance today. For some reason, I guess they got their, you know, summer cleaning to do in <laughs> Target retails because they had everything marked for 50% off, okay? So you had Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and Marvel Legends all dropped to 50% off. So you know I had to stack up on a few of those Marvel Legends that I just seen sitting there because I wasn't buying them for the prices that they asking for. But I'm pretty sure that Hasbro knows that them increasing prices, it ain't going to move, you know what I mean? But that's beside the point. But when I look over at Star Wars, everything is picked dry, clean, you know? But there's one character, one figure that's sitting right there staring me back in my face. And that is my man Lando Calrissian. Now, Lando has been hanging out on Target shelves for the longest I've ever seen. I haven't seen an action figure hang out this long in quite a while. But I actually thought... From the previous um, sequel trilogies that they had, I think, Zuvio, that guy Zuvio from uh, Force Awakens, he was the main one that was just always there. Like, every time I went into, like, a Toys R Us something, nobody wanted Zuvio. You know, it was that dude with the with the brown jacket, you know what I'm saying, and he had that top hat, whatever. That was like, all right, it was a, it was a strange design in the beginning because people were like, who is this guy, right? But right next to him was... Lando Calrissian. Now, they've released Lando Calrissian multiple times now, bro. Like, we've gotten since the very first black and red boxes. Bro, this dude has been there for the longest. And I don't even know who bought that one. I mean, I did buy one. But the ones that were just left straggling for like over a year or two. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what happens when they probably got liquidated out. Probably got sent to like Ollie's or something. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Or probably destroyed and melted in a factory somewhere. Only to return later in the single carter packaging. You know? And I'm like, wait a minute. We just got that guy. Oh, but he has a new face sculpt, so it makes him different. Overall, it was the same coat. Same, you know, coat that he had. That plastic shell that they call a coat. But, you know, at one point in time, I was sitting there saying to myself, Is it because he's black? Like, what, what's going on here? Why can't Lando sell? You know what I'm saying? But overall, Lando hung out a long time, bro. Like, Lando has been hanging out on the shelves, been reproduced more than any character I've ever seen in Star Wars. I mean, you don't even have Luke Skywalker hanging out like that. But yeah, you know, it's like... I'm sitting there looking at Lando. I'm sitting there looking at all the other action figures. But one thing that always stands out to me, and I know it's a lot of other collectors, is Lando Calrissian. You know what I'm saying? Lando Calrissian is like the grandfather of action figures in six-inch form. I got to say, because <laughs> you should actually feel pleased and welcome to walk into a store and, <laughs> and see old Uncle Lando sitting there just looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, He ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody going to buy him. You know what I'm saying? He will always be there to give you a warm smile and a graceful heart. I got to give my man Lando credit. Now, I'm not here to make this video to beat up on Lando. I actually bought the very first Lando that we gotten. And it was like everybody was happy. Like, oh, man, we finally getting a, a six-inch Lando. And I needed a six-inch Lando in my collection. Unbeknownst to me. Now, I bought two of them. Unbeknownst to me, I had no idea years ago that... That wasn't going to be the last time I see Lando Calrissian because they came out again with another 
Black Series, which was the cloth cape this time with the brown shirt. And I'm sitting there saying to myself, wow, okay, he's back. He's got a new hair sculpt, new face, you know, that 3D printing. And I was like, okay, you know, they polished my man Lando. He's back. He's back. But wait a minute. Right next to him was the same card back from the plastic prison shell of that cape of his. You know what I'm saying? It was ridiculous to me. But sitting there looking at Lando, I'm like, you know, I know I'm not the only one thinking this. You know what I'm saying? Is it like, to me, I look at Lando like he's overly produced for a reason. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they just need more young black kids to buy them. And, and that's a long shot, but it feels that way. You know? It's, we got all the ESG diversity thing going on, and maybe they just overproduce them because they want more representation of black characters on the shelf. But I remember... Misty Misty Knight from uh, the Marvel Legends with the big afro. I bought a couple of her because I just like the head scope. But she was hanging out on the shelf. And guess who she was sitting next to on the last days of Toys R Us? Lando Calrissian. So, you know, Lando is like, I'm telling you, he's like the uncle, the grandfather of the action figure out. He ain't going to never go away. I mean, look at that mug. Look at him. He's looking at you like, I ain't never going nowhere. You ain't gonna just shake me. I'm gonna always be there for you. And I repent. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I appreciate that they do give us a lot of Lando's. But it's becoming a little bit, you know what I'm saying, obvious now that we ain't gonna never shake Lando. Lando ain't going nowhere. He's gonna always be there hanging out on the shelf. Ever since his very first head sculpt that we got, you know what I'm saying? And we was like, that don't look like Lando. I know some people that I know, especially families, like, that ain't Lando. Who the heck? I don't know who that is. That's Rodney. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They changed him up. And not for nothing, collectors bought him. I, like I said, I bought two of them because I'm like, he looks like Lando. You know what I'm saying? To me, I mean, he ain't got to look exactly like him. And this is before 3D technology. But he looks like Lando to me. Yeah, I can, I could, I could get that. But he kept coming back. And right now... Tonight, I just left Target, and guess who was there? Guess who was there? Lando Calrissian. My man, Lando Calrissian. <laughs> the most elite peg warmer that ever graced the aisles of action figure collectors. I'm telling you, he, tonight, I'm going to give Lando an award for peg warmer of the decade. Yes, peg warmer of the decade there has never been an action figure that has hung out on the shelves longer and it has greeted every toy collector with a smile and grace you know where you at when you see them you in the toy aisle lando calrissian